Marco Bonoquisto here, Rich by 30, week four. Before we jump into things, I need to make a change, and let's do that right now. Although it's a simple change, it's one that can actually make a lot of impact. What I'm doing here is serious. And one way to show that I'm taking it more serious is to simply just show up and dress for it. Clean myself up a little, not look as messy as I've looked in other videos, and just take that one little extra step to making myself take this more seriously. All right, now let's jump into it. All right, y'all, this was a very active week for me. We got a lot of stuff going on. We have a lot of things getting done. You know, we're still working with that new strategy of not buying anything unless it has a 42% sell-through rate or higher. We started that last month. This month, it is showing that it is definitely working. Now, that doesn't mean it was all just money, 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 though, okay? So there were some ups and downs this week. For starters, one of the things that happened is I learned a very valuable lesson. I've been experimenting with flat rate shipping and I miscalculated the shipping on an item. So that came and bit me and actually cost me money that came out of my profits. So it was an expensive lesson, but it was a valuable lesson. So here are some of the details as to what went down. I had one big sourcing day this week and it went really well. I got 17 items total. And all of these items met my criteria for being an item that is worth spending the money on. And many of these items showing sell through rates that are actually even above my minimum. Like well above, like I found something this week, like this week that I'm shooting this, I found something this week that has over a 100% sell through rate. I didn't even think items like that existed. I don't have it with me, but I have a photo of it. It's a power strip. I saw this power strip at a Goodwill for freaking $4. And right away, I knew it was something I needed to pick up because it's an item I use every single weekend that I've been DJing weddings. And then also the brand Furman. I recognize the brand as well. I know that that's a good brand. On top of the 17 items I sourced, I also listed 24 items. That's a total of 3.42 items per day. We are still moving up towards getting to that 10 item per day. The only thing is, is that I haven't found out how I'm gonna get that many items. And all I need to figure out how I'm gonna get the extra items I need to hit my listing goal of 10 items a day is more time and more places for sourcing, which is exactly what I'm doing. So I know that I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and eventually I'll get to that point where I can hit that goal. And trust me, we're getting there real soon. All right, and now one I'm not the most excited about, but it's still great and it is still a sign of growth. We got five sales this week. Unfortunately, that is down from last week. I believe we got eight sales last week. So only hitting five sales this week, does it suck? Kind of, you know, but I'm not gonna look at it like it sucks. It's a win. I got five sales this week, so that's great. And I'm gonna stay focused on getting more sales this week and next week and the week after that and so on and so forth. Now, even though five isn't a lot, there is some good behind that number of sales. And it's when you do the math. See, I made a total of $86.85 of profit off of these five items, which makes out to be an average of $17.37 per sale, which is higher than the $16.66 average per sale that I based all of my math on. So if we can get our average sale price to continue to go up, it'll make reaching our goal of $5,000 of profit per month that much easier. Actually, not easier. Let's go with more attainable. It'll make that goal that much more attainable. So that was the week. Now let's talk about today real quick. Today is October 31st when I am recording this, and that means that the end of October has finally come. And in the month of October, I set a new record for my store, making a total profit of $683.66. My profit per hour has settled at $19.76, and the total time spent on my eBay store has hit 121 hours and 45 minutes and my store sell-through rate is currently sitting at 39%, and I currently have 168 active listings. Now let's chat a little bit about the future and what's to come and what I expect of myself. Currently, my hourly profit is going down, and I believe this is because I'm focused on growing my store right now, making it so that I have enough active listings that eBay is taking me even more seriously, putting me in front of the appropriate customers and bringing the appropriate customers to my listings. Sales and profit this week are also down, but that's okay because the average profit that we made per sale is actually above the numbers that we use to calculate how we're gonna get to our $5,000 a month profit goal. So we're still seeing growth even when other things are going down. Now that doesn't mean it's okay for it to go down. I am gonna be focused on getting that hourly profit back up, getting those sales back up, and all of it. You see, what's happening to my store is it's getting really bloated. So there are a lot of items on my store right now that I wouldn't pick up when I go sourcing, but I had to learn the hard way. And that's how everyone has to learn because you're never perfect at first. And I'm not just gonna take down those items and like re-donate them 
or try to like sell them in a garage sale or anything right now. One, because it's not super easy to do a garage sale where I live. And two, I don't have a storage issue. So there's no point in me burning everything up right now and panicking and being like, I gotta get this out. I need to make space for better stuff. I don't think any of these items are necessarily dead in the water and a very good portion of them are actually all free items. They're items from my own personal closet or my fiance's closet. So even though it is gonna weigh my store down, I have a plan on how to trim some of that extra clothing off of my store. I'm gonna go through all of these listings that are old and I'm gonna be updating their titles, I'm gonna update their descriptions, and I'm going to update their prices. Pretty much setting everything up so that eBay understands what's going on. This guy's store is trying to trim off some of this clothing. Let's push it to the people who like the cheap stuff. You know, when I was first writing down the notes for this video right here in my notebook, I had this like burning feeling where I was like, dang, a lot of these points seem like they're really negative. Like, am I going to make a video about how I sucked ass this last week? But because of making this video and actually recording all of this, I've been able to re, you know, look at the whole situation. And what I see now is that I didn't completely suck ass. In fact, I kicked ass this entire month. Sure, last week, only five sales, whatever. But this was my best month when it came to profit. I made over $600 of profit selling things on eBay. And I have to remember that I just need to be patient. I need to stay consistent and I need to remain disciplined. I have to remind myself that this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And I'm literally just getting started. And even though it feels like a lifetime, this is only the second month of employing this new strategy. This new strategy that is literally working right in front of my eyes. And the proof is once again in the math. The majority of my sales, in fact, almost all of my sales that I made in the month of October were listed a month or less prior to being sold. And that's what I'm looking to do with my entire inventory and everything I pick up in the future. Find more items that sell in a month or less. Because as those items sell, 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 so will slowly but surely the items that take a bit longer. I've literally made it so that I am not buying a single item unless I know that 100% it is going to sell. And by taking steps like that and taking the time and putting in the effort to always be bettering myself in this, I will only come closer and closer to my goal of making $5,000 a month of profit every single month from reselling online. And if you wanna see that happen, make sure you subscribe to the channel.